welcome to the seaside resort of Littlehampton in West Sussex, England. This coastal town by the English Channel is approximately 60 miles from London. With history dating back to Roman times, previously a fishing community, during the 18th century the town developed into a holiday destination. Little Hampton was previously known as Hampton, with the little being added to distinguish it from Southampton. Musebrook Park, holder of the Green Flag Award since 2005. Musebrook Park opened to the public in 1939 and was named after Musebrook House, which later became known as Rustington Towers Hotel. Musebrook Park has a picnic area, a playground, pedalo boat hire, and is the last stop on the Little Hampton Miniature Railway. There is also a cafe with an outdoor seating area. The park was originally part of Rustington, but later became part of Little Hampton when the border was moved. The Boating Lake has a sluice gate at the end nearest the sea the other end of which can be seen on the beach when the tide is low. This is used to help maintain the level of the water. The Little Hampton Wave opened in 2019 and the area was previously occupied by Little Hampton Swimming Pool. Newsbrook House, the Tudor style house, was built on the same land as the park in 1870. The house became a hotel called Rustington Towers in 1924, which burned down in 1935. Some records state that the current pumping station was built on the site of the old hotel. However, my own research shows that the actual location was probably where Ruby Gardens currently is, next to the miniature railway station and behind the new Little Hampton Wave. This can be seen on old maps and photographs. I believe that where the Little Hampton Wave is now and the car park in front of it used to be where the tennis courts for the hotel were. Going over the East Beach green sward now. The road below is South Terrace where there are several flats and also hotels. The circular burnt patch on the grass is where they had the yearly bonfire to celebrate Guy Fawkes Night. Near to the river is the Oyster Pond, built in early 1800s to put catches of shellfish, in particular oysters, hence the name. Then in the late 1870s it was converted into a boating lake, which it's still used for today. Also next to the river, towards the sea, is the Harbour Park Fun Park. And this is the location that the old windmill used to be. This windmill was a tower mill called Aaron Mill, one of the largest built in the area, built in 1831 and then demolished in 1932.
the stalactite like house at the end of Little Hampton Pier was built in 1948. There used to be two lighthouses on the pier, the real one in 1848 and then a shorter one forward from that in 1868 and they were known as Salt and Pepper. Both were demolished in 1940 during the Second World War to prevent Germans using them for navigation. Situated by the River Arran, Little Hampton has had a port for many years. The estuary is not as active as it used to be. You still regularly see small fishing boats, yachts from the Yacht Club and other pleasure boats, including the odd cargo vessel that moors at the docks. There is also a Little Hampton ferry that takes passengers between the east and west sides of the river. Following the River Arran upstream, you reach the RNLI lifeboat station, opened in 1884, and later saw the first Blue Peter lifeboat. The other side of the Red Footbridge is the docks where you see large cargo vessels moored, and you can also see Little Hampton's old gasometer. On the west side of the river, is Little Hampton Golf Course. Looking west along the seafront, you see the sand dunes and you'll eventually arrive at Klimping. There is so much more history to the area and I may get to that another day. I hope you enjoyed this please give me a like and subscribe and make a comment. Thank you.